What's up dudes and girls? We have a great tutorial for you today, specifically targeting your core strength. And this exercise comes directly from our home gym workout plan. You can pick it up on PDF, check out the link in our description and you'll find out more. It's a plan where you can really use anywhere. You can use at home, in your garage, in your shop, at your a public gym. A lot of great simple exercises and that's gonna be one we're doing today. So let's get started. There's a lot that goes into core. It's definitely not just your abdominals. Of course, the abdominals give you that great appearance, the six pack, you take your shirt off, you're at the beach, you look great. But that doesn't mean you have a strong core and it doesn't mean just because you have a six pack that you're gonna be strong at lifts like squats and deadlifts that really require that great core stability and strength. Now, one way to really help with core stability and strength is an exercise called the suitcase carry that we're gonna be doing today. One of the main reasons why it's so great in increasing your core stability and strength is because it works in an isometric contraction or hold. Um, you're gonna have to hold a weight into position while you're walking forward. Now, I'm gonna go over this a little bit why it's so great, not only because the isometric um, hold, but the reason why you're walking forward. But first, what you're gonna be doing is grabbing something that's pretty heavy, either a dumbbell, a kettlebell, um, anything with a nice grip to it that you can hold at your side that's not going to get in your way of a walking motion there. So whatever it is, either a dumbbell or a kettlebell, or maybe if you just have a jug of water, whatever that's gonna create a lot of weight. So that way you're going to have to pull your spine into that straight position. If you have this heavy weight, your body's naturally gonna wanna lean into that weight because it takes some you know, strength in contraction to pull your spine straight into that aligned position there. And that is what you're gonna want to maintain and hold. So isometrically, you're holding that position, you're stabilizing the spine. The core is really great for that to stabilize the spine. That's what we want. Now, now that you've contracted everything, a little bit in your lat, your obliques, your abdominus, your lower back, now we're gonna activate a little bit of the glutes, which is a huge part of your core as well. So you're gonna be going walking forward, nice, slow, controlled. Now, as you walk, you are naturally going to get onto one leg. So as you walk forward, you're having to balance on one leg. Now you're really gonna have to pull that weight back into position because as you walk, it's gonna wanna throw you off balance and make you unstable there. So this is gonna create a lot of core stability by training the specific hold and movement and also your glutes too because as you walk, your glute gluteus minimus is having to pull those hips back into that alignment, that straight position. So the great glute trainer as well, and that's why you're walking forward. So there's quite a bit that goes into this and quite a bit of reasons why you're doing this. Um, so you really have to focus on going heavy enough as well. If you go too light, it's really not gonna do a lot because it's not gonna take a lot to hold that weight into position. You can kind of just hold it and walk and like, well, this isn't really doing much for me. It's easy, what am I gonna say? It doesn't take a lot of stability, a lot of balance, a lot of strength, but all of a sudden you're grabbing, let's say a hundred pounds, depending on your strength and your ability, but oh, that weight is really gonna take a lot of strength to put in that position. And that's kind of the point of it, to test yourself, to test your stability, your balance, your strength. And that's what you wanna work up to. That is the point of this exercise. You wanna go really heavy with it. Not to say you have to start with 100 pounds. Obviously, start with something you're comfortable with, depending on your strength. But this exercise is an excellent way to train your core, to strengthen it, to make sure it's stable. It can also be great for your day-to-day -day activities too, because without your core, you're gonna feel kind of unstable. That's where back pain comes in when you don't have those muscles to help support your skeletal structure. So that's why this exercise is excellent and why we included it in our home gym plan. Make sure you check out our home gym plan. We're very proud of it. Has a lot of these type of exercises are really gonna help you out, not only in the gym, but outside the gym too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was quick and easy, but definitely give it a shot because it goes a long way. So until next time, everyone, stay buff. And we'll see you soon.